just uh, unpack and set up a um, an Acer Chromebook Flip 11. This came from Best Buy. Uh, it's hard to get Chromebooks right now. This was actually a pretty good deal, a uh, good sale for um, what appears to be uh, an upper middle class uh, uh, Chromebook. Th just wanted to show you how it's packed. Uh, Best Buy has their own uh, exterior packaging uh, that says if the seal is broken uh, to make sure you check all the contents, etc. So there's an exterior box here. And let's go ahead and uh, and take a look at that and open. And here's the seal. So. Here's, well actually it may not be the exterior packaging, I guess it is actually the, uh, the Acer packaging. So, yeah, so I believe that's what it is, is the Acer packaging exterior. So we'll sit this over here for now, and let's see what we've got. So again, we have a notation here about that's the seal and if it's broken you better check the contents uh, so obviously this is not broken so let's take a look here see what we've got looks like i may have it upside down should pull out this way So there we go. We finally have the box open. You've been patient to wait with me. And let's see what we have in here. Got a question? Ask us. So it starts out with uh, an Acer uh, ad to talk to them if you need help. Uh, packaging, by the way, looks uh, very friendly to the environment. It's all corrugated, and even the uh, instead of the usual styrofoam, the uh, packing on the side, I don't know if you could see it here, but it's uh, recyclable material. So that's good to know. Uh, here's a little bit of a surprise, I think, at least in my case, I did not know we were going to be getting a pen with it. So it's the Wacom ER pen, and uh, let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Of course, it's going to just be a, a simple pen, but I'll put that there. So this is it. Pen. And it looks like it has a little bit of an eraser here. I'm guessing that's what that is. It's also a, uh, it does push, so I'm assuming that opens and closes apps also. So that's... Uh, that's a pleasant ad that I didn't uh, know was in there. Of course, we have the uh, power. So we're going to just simply have a cable. Here it is. And of course, the power supply. Oh, good news. I don't know if you could see that, but it's a USB-C. So that is, uh, that's good news. I, I suspected that's what it would be, but that's uh, very helpful to know. So we'll have some quick charging. And here's a little pamphlet or something it's in here and it looks like oh you know what it is I think it's a pen loop 
I used to make fun of these on surface products. Um, anyway, I'll open this in a minute, but it does appear that what this is is a uh, is a pen loop. If you could see that there, it goes on the, uh, the keyboard. So uh, here it is. I got it open. And you see it's got some 3M tape. So you have to look at the bottom of the box here because this was laying there and I may not have seen that. I was just lucky. And then here, and it would appear the pen just goes right in here. So we have a pen holder, a pen loop. Now here we go. Again, as I mentioned, it's very, very eco ecologically friendly. A lot of packing for such a small product. Let me first, we do have a setup guide that we'll be using in a moment. And it shows it in tent mode. So we'll go ahead and take a quick look at this in a, in a few minutes. FCC information and what I'm guessing is warranty information. So uh, we have the typical box stuff here. Uh, now for the moment of truth, what we have is, wow, this is nice, a nice covering by the way, very nice cloth here. Here it is. And I think the, it was called Sparkling Silver, and it, uh, that it is. It's got like a matted finish, which is kind of nice. Uh, feels good since it's going to be for a child. Um, anything that would keep it from sliding. And let's take a look at... Here's one side here. This would appear to be the volume button. It's a USB 3. Uh, or 3.1 USB there, uh, a USB-C, and of course you have a Kensington lock uh, here. So very, very nice uh, setup on that side. The other side has a USB-C, I think that's the charge port, and the power button is over here. This I'm, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. This is a uh, an SD mini, it looks like a mini card slot here. Headphone jack, which you don't get on a lot of things anymore, so that's good. Um, nothing really on the bottom. Uh, the feet, are, these are rubber. There's four feet. They're rubber and uh, nice. So speakers, you can see the two speakers here on the bottom. Of course, nothing in the back except the two hinges, which are covered with, uh, I'll take this off. Nope. Well, both of those did not come off the right way, so I'll take those off in a moment. This took a little bit of work to get off the covering here, the protection, film protection. You have to actually rip it off to the side and then pull it through on both of them. So now it's time to see our Chromebook. Again, this is the Acer Flip 11. And here it is. Ah, you can see on the bottom it says Feel by Wacom, so that's obviously for our pen. Um, Let's see, it looks like there's a covering here. It says that it's, uh, I'll put it up here. I don't know if you could see it, but it says Gorilla, uh, Corning Gorilla Glass, which uh, we'll have to figure how to get that off in a second. And of course, I mentioned that on the bottom. And here's our keyboard. The keys appear to be spaced nicely. And... Uh, 
The touch feels okay. Not a whole lot of travel to them. But we'll test that out in a few minutes. And here, we'll take that off. That covering here. I'm actually not positive what this is, so we'll let you know in a second. It's obviously something important. You can see the camera is a punch hole here. And uh, that's all there is to it right now. In a second, as I said, we'll just start it up and uh, we'll see how it works. Just a few other things here. Uh, by the way, it says Gorilla Glass, but there's nothing that appears to come off of the actual glass. Um, on the bottom here, Acer Chromebook Spin. I think I said Flip Spin 11 Chromebook. It shows the pen, uh, 10 hours of battery life. Uh, the webcam has a field of view, a whole field of view, and the USB is 3.1, and of course it uses the Google Play Store as part of the, uh, uh, the Chrome apps. So, here it is in um, tent mode, and see where it says Acer on the bottom here, and with those words here, I'm guessing there's going to be... Uh, uh, a pretty good size, what I'm going to call a bezel around the screen, a uh, bezel look, which is uh, a little disheartening, uh, but we'll see what happens once we turn it on. It may not be. You can see the bezel along the side. This is clearly a, a plastic here, though most of it, uh, I would say, is made out of metal. Uh, again, I mentioned the keys are spaced apart really well. Travel is okay. Keys are a little bit slippery, uh, all flat keys, nothing, uh, nothing very special there. So we'll take a look in a second as we begin the setup. Let me just read you a few specs uh, from uh, the Acer Chromebook Spin 11. It has an Intel Celeron processor. Uh, it's an 11.6 multi-touch uh, LCD. Uh, it has Intel uh, integrated uh, HD graphics. 4 gigabytes of memory, uh, 32 gigabytes of storage, uh, but again, uh, at least you can add storage if needed with a, uh, uh, with a mini SD card. Um, and it's got the batteries, a 38 watt, uh, watt hour uh, lithium battery. Uh, so it's got all the right specs. Uh, here's the trackpad, and the trackpad looks, uh, looks and feels fine. It's a pretty good size, and uh, you know, just laying your hands here, I think it's it's fine uh, for typing. Again, uh, this will be pretty much for a uh, a school child, uh, elementary school child, uh, and uh, according to the instructions that we have, we are going to put this over here. And it's interesting, they show it covering the Intel Inside sticker. They probably don't really want that. Uh, but uh, anyway, I am going to do that and I am going to put it right here. So let's take this off. And I'm, the reason I'm going to put it on that is over here, you could see where you have the uh, the rubber stoppers for when you close it. So here we go. So I put that on and here goes the pen into it. Kind of a, so there it is. I'm not sure what the right way is to do it. I'll put it this way. And then this way you have most so there you go. We're going to go ahead and plug it in and see exactly what happens. So I have plugged in the power. Now let's turn it on. And so far nothing's happened. Ah, oh, there we go. I don't know if you could see that, but uh, 
and it's what I thought, if you could see the screen here, um, so it's not the entire screen, at least so far, uh, because on the bottom here it says Acer, and over here in the top left it talks about the Gorilla Glass, so um, I'll, I'll take you through uh, this setup, uh, but um, it's, the screen is only that size and I'll have to measure uh, to see what it actually is. And we'll look at the setup instructions. So something is happening. It says US, 5 o'clock, and uh, it's wrong. Now it says 11.32 and it's uh, more wrong. So um, I'm going to try to follow... So, use a notebook for the first time, plug in before turning on, we did that. Press the power button, we did that. Follow on screen instructions. Uh, to, so, let's do that. So, it says, you know what? Let's try to use the pen. So, on the bottom here, it says, let's go. So, I did that, and it's looking for my uh, Wi Fi and it had it and now it doesn't so we'll find the Wi-Fi and set it up okay I did connect uh, to my home Wi-Fi it took three tries it said I was out of uh, range which is interesting because with all of the other setups and testing I've done uh, nothing's ever been out of range so it's a uh, again, a little disconcerting, but anyway, I am now on the uh, uh, OS terms. I read them; they look okay. I do know that uh, you know Google. Uh, uh, I know enough about Google to to understand their services, uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and not uh, provide them any additional information. So I'm going to accept and continue. So now it's going to look for updates. And uh, I'm guessing, based on the date of the manufacture, this probably won't be a uh, terribly long time, but uh, I will go ahead and uh, uh, shut this down, or the video, for just a few minutes as I set up the account. So here we go. Everything is here. And... Uh, so this is just the uh, the home screen, and I, I you could see everything here. This is the launcher down here. So the launcher launches, and uh, down on the bottom here, you could see we have, uh, if we wanted to, we have for the uh, stylus tool. So if we wanted to create a note, we would just open uh, that and uh, create a note, which is kind of nice. And uh, so you could see what it does here. And we'll change it to a dark color so you can better see it. And, oh, didn't change. But anyway, works fine. I, I would note to you that, uh, uh, unfortunately, not unfortunately, but uh, the tip is very uh, rubbery. It feels very rubbery. And uh, as I said, I think this click would be to eventually to open apps. Uh, perhaps you can even erase with it. Uh, I think this is the eraser. Uh, maybe not clear page so uh, that's that and uh, if I open Chrome and again so of course the browser built in is Chrome and I can go over here and uh, the settings so you can customize the page if you wanted to uh, and do whatever ever else you need so once it's set up it's, it's actually rather simple and uh, that is it. That is the uh, Acer Chromebook Spin 11, um, including the uh, stylus that comes with it, that uh, uh, that has a uh, holder. Uh, you saw the unboxing, what comes with it. Uh, the setup could not have been more simple. Frankly, having everything in the cloud uh, does make life uh, very simple. And uh, that's it.